So I'm not sure what I can actually add to the whole... I'm just not completely down with emoting, you know? Like this feels a bit dickish, a bit sort of competitive. Sorry. Fuck it. So I was in my dad's kitchen making a sandwich and then all of a sudden this guy, still in his airline chair, crashes into the garden. Whee! And after it crashed, I remember a split second where everything was quiet, totally quiet. And then there was the explosion, and then I was covered in burning aviation fuel, and then I passed out. I'm Graham, welcome. So to start off with tonight, I'll just stick with the facts, because um, some of what I'm going to be talking about, it's right at the edge of what's possible for me to talk about, yeah? So hey, I'm Alex. Great to see you and all that. Thanks for coming. Before we start, I'd just like to uh, make sure that we're totally clear about the parameters here to set and manage your expectations. Make sure we know all the roles and responsibilities. All that standard corporate project management shit. So you know how on the news these days there's just like this endless stream of horrendous shit going down? But then you're like, nah, that's never going to happen to me, right? Because you literally can't conceive of it happening to you. But then it does. It does happen. And nothing prepares you for how fucking fierce it is. When I was growing up, I was against the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, not because I was Muslim, but because I wasn't a massive, psychotic, warmongering fuckwit with mad eyes like Tony Blair. Because I was a decent human being. Hi there, my name is Nathan Schultz, otherwise known as the Drama Merchant, and this is 2022's first show of the year, BU21. You've just heard my cast deliver sequences and scenes from this wonderful script. Well, I can't exactly say wonderful, but it is rather chilling when you watch it. So I'm going to hand it over to the guys next and let them answer a couple of questions. <laughs> what an opener. <laughs> Fantastic opener. Um, well, I guess the gist of it is it's looking at the aftermath of a plane crash, but for me anyway, the interesting thing I like about it is you're not looking at anyone who was on the plane, but you're looking at other people who are victims of the crash and the traumas that they have gone through in association with the crash and ask the question, how do you survive when something beyond imagination occurs? How do you get through it? The, the show pretty much creates this hypothetical situation based on the reactions of normal people in very, very real situations. So major terrorist events that have happened in real life, this creates one that isn't real, but tells the story as if it is, uh, and explores the lives and, and troubles of living beyond it, uh, and what it means to experience such a catastrophic event. All right, um, oh. I think one of the reasons that I was drawn to BU21 and probably you guys as well is that it depicts a lot of different ways that people deal with grief and trauma and mental illness but also physical disabilities and all those different things um, and you kind of see all of the characters in the script go through this in different ways. Not a character does the same thing. We all mm. go through it differently and I think that's um, probably the most relatable part of the whole show yeah and kind of answering i guess the second part of the question about like what is it like in a generation when we see it kind of happening all the time i mean i think the entire world can kind of look back on the past two three years as a collective and kind of see what we as a world have gotten through the trauma and the collection there uh, everyone has gone through different griefs and things like that and it kind of at least for me really hits home that kind of idea of everyone will go through trauma and just because you yourself necessarily like weren't in that plane crash per se that doesn't mean you haven't also experienced the same trauma because something else has happened to you it's really interesting especially like for me obviously uh like growing up as a very young strapping asian man <laughs> right um very much like especially what my what my character goes through in the, the in the show you do often get associated with all the the for lack of a better term, like all the bad shit that happens outside, you know? Um, and 
especially when you're exposed to that sort of thing sort of on an everyday basis with like the whole 24-hour news cycle and the social media and all that it becomes overwhelming and it's uh you feel pressure to like kind of have that define you and i feel like that's, that's, that's one of the great things that um this script does really well is that it kind of it looks past that and really just focuses on the story because i feel that it's really just a story about trauma and how people deal with it <laughs> so i'm graham and uh he's quite a methodical thinker he's constantly is that how you say it methodical yeah hell yeah. 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 hell yeah i'm not a methodical thinker as you can probably tell <laughs> um but I feel without trying to give too much away, he's always trying to uh, better his situation, uh, no matter what. Um, and I feel like to sort of bring that into like a world context, I feel like we see so many people uh, making better situations off tragedy and how easy it can be. And I feel like my character sort of falls into that trope of, um, Profiting off tragedy. Um, I play Anna. Anna is probably a little bit more closed off when it comes to expressing herself mm. compared to the other characters in the show. Um, but she's not only going through uh, a lot of mental and emotional trauma and dealing with that, but also has the added element of a physical. Um, trauma that she's dealing with as well so um, that impacts her and what she's going through in the show. <laughs> Hi uh, I play Clive and Clive is a young man who was born into a world where he was always deemed uh, other or you know despite every other um, non-superficial similarity between him and the I, I suppose everyone else around him he's always been, uh, been, been different I suppose and Really, he's a uh, uh, he's sweet, naive, but struggles a lot. Uh, as, as as you know, everyone everyone does. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of him, I guess. I play Alyssa, and I found out my mum was dead on Twitter. So before the crash, um, and kind of as we go through Alyssa's healing journey, she is quite an optimistic person you know she's a little bit naive she always tries to see the best in people look at the bright side of life but definitely after the initial crash she just becomes this kind of shell of a person particularly learning her mum had died from the plane accident in the way that she did literally through social media uh i play alex uh he's a very interesting character because especially compared to the rest of the characters in the show he's a bit more connected to the audience uh he plays kind of this this eyes uh, and helps you observe what everyone else is going through while at the same time going through his own stuff he pretty much loses everything uh, in the crash and he he struggles to cope and he struggles to deal and by doing that he indulges in everything he can and and performs in some very unhealthy practices <laughs> um, mm -hmm. but then there's a slight commentary there on how much is an excuse how much of Alex's behavior was the way it was before the crash? You know, how, did this really affect him and change who he was? Or will this just be an excuse going forward for him to do what he always wanted to do mm -hmm. uh, and behave the way he always was? Um, so I play Floss, um, who you know, experiences the trauma that occurs post-crash head on. Uh, and she's a very dark sense of humour to cope with it. Uh, yep. That is probably inappropriate at times. Um, I feel like that makes her a good character. Yeah, it's a coping mechanism. To say about it. Hum humour is a massive coping <laughs> mechanism. Oh yeah. 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 Which absolutely. is explored a lot in the show yeah. in nearly every character. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Deflection, denial are two of like the really big ones. And then humour used as a coping strategy. I think the person, the only person who doesn't use it is you. What humor? Actually, yeah. yeah, I do say a couple funny things about a Mickey Mouse towel. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Again, come and see the show if you want to yeah. hear that.